Hello guys and welcome back to our channel. I am face rolling my insanely puffy. It's actually gone down quite a bit now. Some sort of allergy flare this morning. That's how our life's going guys. Welcome back to the channel. It's all like rashy on my chest. It's just a... It doesn't even feel like an eczema flare. It feels more like an allergy slash sensitive skin flare because it's not itchy. I know everything can be everything that can still be a nice flare even if it's not itchy but um, this has been in the freezer so it is literally icy metal right now and it just brings down that swelling especially my eyelids they get really puffy but it's actually come down loads although I'm still like rashy and I've just taken an antihistamine so I'm hoping it's going to sort me out guys but the sun is beaming in it's giving me some sort of husky dusky sun kissed vibe on the camera um Good morning. I've just put Mabel down for a nap. I am not looking too cute right now. I've literally got this, which I've worn for the past three days on. The Skims trousers, which I was meant to return because they're see-through, but I never got round to it. The return date ran out, so I just wear them and they look so cute. But I didn't keep them originally because they were just a bit too see-through on the bottom, on the literal bottom. But then now I just keep reaching for them as like my loungy home, home trousers, but they were a bit of an investment to do that. And then by the time I filmed the video, I'm faffed about. I missed the return date. So that was fun. And then I've got some random sandals on. So I'm in one of those shambles outfits today, feeling like a swollen shambles. I'm like wind up like a prune. My lips are like so dry. Sorry guys, that's a really, really chirpy start to the vlog. Hello and welcome. How are we all? How's 2024 going? We are in March now. We had Mabel's first birthday. So yeah, so like I said, I just put Mabel down for her nap. Today's actually a bit more of a fun day than usual. I know I've been saying in the last few vlogs that um, we sort of have our filming days three days a week now where we film all our content. And so we then when we're with the girls, cause like Amber goes to our parents and then when she's not with our parents, we kind of have our fun days all together. So then I've been like vlogging um, on our filming days, which I always think are really boring, but hey ho, that's life. Uh, but today, actually, we are, I'm not having a filming day. Instead, we're having a bit more of an admin, sorry, it's not much more exciting, <laughs> admin and editing, but we are also going into town, which like hardly ever happens anymore. I feel like we never like venture in. Maybe it's because on our non-filming days, we have both girls and venturing into town with a toddler, well, a three-year-old and a one-year-old is quite an experience. Um, James has already cracked on. He is, every time I show him guys, he's on his laptop, I know. This didn't used to be our boring life, but it is now. Well, we love it. It is boring, but we, we kind of love it this way. Oh, and you'll also see the sign we had for Mabel's birthday. Morning. Hiya. <laughs> Good this is morning. Like, it was unprofessional. <laughs> I know. My job is in my t-shirts, landing on my sofa with my Christmas duvet. That's working from home, darling. But I can't get to my desk. Miss Rachel is stopping me oh. from getting to my desk. Yeah, that is okay. actually the problem here. <laughs> yeah, you usually love sitting at your little I desk. Do, but There's I toys want everywhere. To move the <laughs> I know. Well, it's huge, guys. Look at our sign. So look. Oh my gosh, her face when she saw this lit up so the sign came and then me and amber stuck all the like rainbow balloons around the outside which was so fun and um, but it's literally massive the only thing stopping it from falling over is a massive plant pot that i put around the back you know what's but yeah we yeah it's the thought of taking it down a massive board with your baby's face on it oh i know i don't know what to do with then it, it feels even more weird to like i'm gonna have to take it up the recycling center break it down bin. rip her face in half i don't want to throw it in a bin i know that's so true it's sad, isn't it? yeah oh <laughs> Anyone else called Mabel want the sign? And it looks like Mabel. Yeah, I'll well, just but... stick a different picture over the top. Yeah, so it was her birthday a couple of days ago now and we had an absolutely lush time just with family and like we had a little like party here and had Colin the Caterpillar cake. It's the best part of a birthday in my opinion, the Colin the Caterpillar cake. And then, what's the time? Two quarter past ten. I was just contemplating whether it's too early for a Coke Zero, guys. I love my new Coke Zeros, with, oh, they ran out anyway. I used the last one yesterday. Darn it. Water it is then. And fun editing on the kitchen table. This was the shambles outfit. What makes it even more shambles is that there's food stain on the shirt. Love that for me. I mean, I kind of love the outfit, not gonna lie. These are the Skims trousers I was talking about. And my new favorite way, guys, to wear a shirt, which is not, you know, it's been around for a while, I feel. 
where you literally just, oh yeah, people, the lovely Exner, do one button and then you just let it, or like two, you could do that one as well. It just gives the shirt a bit more like shape rather than feeling like caged in, but it still kind of helps it. I don't know. But yeah, these are the Skims trousers. I do, honestly guys, they're so lovely. They're the rollover ones and they are so, so comfortable and so lovely, but, but they're just too see-through from behind, you know? So, but I mean, it's actually perfect for an outfit like this because you literally are just wearing like a massive shirt or like for a knitted jumper or something over the top. But yeah, outfit of the day. I'm gonna need to actually put some non-see-through trousers on though to go into town. I also do appreciate that the time lapse is gonna look like I'm just sitting on my, on my phone scrolling because that is actually like 90% off my job is on this little splice app doing my editing. Sorry, but he just goes, is this okay? It's green on green. These yeah. are obviously grey. See, so on the website, He's going... they're chip shop products, and on the website, they are called grey. Are they? I just think they're giving green vibes. <laughs> and what was, what? How is that not green? The other day, it was something else. They, it was the same, you had joggers on that you thought, were, oh, it was those. It is but, always these. <laughs> What was it in the house that was like quite blatantly? And when does we get that little suitcase down? You're like, get, do you call it green or purple? You call it, and I'm like, purple suitcase. <laughs> it's bright blue then. You're losing it. I know. Maybe I you do have a bit of colour blindness. No, because colour blind's very specific. Like you see, well, I have to look at what it is. Whether you've got, you haven't got the specific kind of blind ones, or maybe it's like the rain. I don't just know. Silly. You're just no, and your mum's the same though, actually, James. That's really weird because she's got that backsplash in her kitchen, and she was saying that it was like blue or green. I can't remember now. I don't know. You've got color. I've got memory issues. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> everything I'm saying, I'm like I can't remember. But yeah, they're grey, hen. Oh, okay. That no, part's gone. Oh, that is gone. Oh no! Please and I, go. I told you I could buy a pack of six, and I <laughs> used them all. <laughs> We've got I four. Think those are okay. So We've got four fun. left. Oh, right. That one's probably gone. This needs oh, to be know, used pronto. Yeah. I picked up those. a bag of six. I've got the right for the home ones. James so I really like, should have given you some. Yeah, Oh, that is gone, you're right. That's right at home. They usually last in like weeks. That's practically a raisin. I was like, James, I am going to use six avocados. Uh, there's four left, so I've used two. I'm impressed I used two. <laughs> okay, goodbye. So it's been 45 minutes. Um, I finished the first piece of editing that I need to do. Going to have a bagel break. James, oh yeah, you've seen James is going to get his hair cut. Oh yeah, maybe I should do avocado use up my avocados guys on bagels okay that sounds amazing this is not the right knife for an avocado yeah it's 100 percent cotton so i'm hoping to get some more 100 percent cotton pieces from town today just because when i'm having a flare they i can probably save some of this avocado but most of that one is nice and black already darn it hey she's perfect She's perfect. Okay. Ta-da. This makes me a very happy girl, guys. A sock on the table, a dolly's dummy, my scratch attack roller, and Amber's drink from last night. I'd also like to add, this is not the norm for me. This is very bougie, very put together vibes that I can really appreciate once in a while, but 90% of the time it is Weetabix with a couple of Cheerios on top for my morning breakfast. That's just what we've got time for and what the chaos allows usually. Okay, so we're gonna try and attempt to get ready whilst Mabel has the rest of her nap. I don't know how much longer that'll be. I'm gonna attempt to tint my brows with the, you know, I sh did I show you that lip stain before? Not tint, this is like a stain. I'm just obsessed lately with staining my face because I want things that don't feel like makeup, but I can just like wash off at the end of the day. So let's give this a go. I'm not really sure what I'm doing here, to be honest. I mean, if it stains it like this, it's probably not... Not the best drawing of a brow on my face. I really probably hope it's not gonna stain like that. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> Karis. Yeah, see, I'm sure that's done something in like literally 10 seconds. Yeah, that's nice. Just like that. And then leave it and see. To be honest, 
can't really tell if that's made a difference to be honest. So I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. We'll go with it. I thought I ordered the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops, which literally everyone has been talking about, but I actually ended up ordering Bright Drops instead. But to be honest, guys, I wasn't too mad about the fact that I accidentally ordered them because they have been working beautifully to kind of just brighten up like my face when I just want a skincare slash like today I'm just gonna wear this tinted SPF with a bit of the bright drops to kind of give it a bit more of a glow. To add a bit of bronziness I'm gonna add the tan drops just to add a bit of colour. Literally just tan so they don't have like heavy makeup -y feel to them if you get me. They just add a bit of colour back into my face. Then we're going to do a lip stain and then we're going to sort the hair out. Get a little bit of colour going. This is not the colour guys. Just give them a proper nice like natural ready colour to them. Makes me look alive guys. Evil is still napping. She has started doing these type of naps sometimes where she'll nap for ages in the morning and then not have her second nap in the afternoon so I think that's what's going to happen again today. She'll go down for about two hours maybe more, three hours sometimes crazy. So she's still sleeping. James, where did he pop out? Oh he's gone to take the dog because he thought she could do what she did yesterday which is where she slept for like hours and hours. I basically started, I unleashed the organisation, you know when you start organising, like this room just always needs a constant organised this is like my dressing room slash filming room. But I started doing the this. Guys, this. I mean, look out here as well. Like this is a broken Ikea thing, which I'm just starting to put random things in. So much organization is going on because we are, we actually have the guy. I remembered why we're not leaving until this afternoon after lunch because, oh gosh, look, all my summer clothes almost ready to come down. I have started actually getting little bits of summer clothes down in like little bits. Oh, I might wear that today actually. That'll look cute with the outfit that we've got on. What do we think? Cute jeans, white top, shirt, and it's like a nice linen material as well, which is nice for my um, eczema, which is flaring today. Yeah, I've been like turning this room upside down, which is hence why it is literally so messy. Um, Cause we've got the removals it's not quite linked, but we got the removals guy coming today to quote for um, removing everything from the house for when we move. The chain is still, like we haven't had a completion date or anything yet, but we wanted to keep the ball rolling just because we have a feeling it's gonna be delayed, 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 and then potentially have quite a quick turnaround because our buyers, buyers want completion in April, end of April. So we we would like that as well. So yeah, we're hoping that that's gonna go ahead. But to be honest, I'm also feeling very, <laughs> And hopeful and I have a feeling it's gonna the whole thing is just gonna collapse but positive positive mindset so yeah we've got to I decided like once we knew we were moving that I just wanted to organize this whole room and um yeah so it's just constantly in chaos but it is actually getting there I organized my jeans the other day guys bear in mind this is like half of my jeans I put loads of them in the attic which uh, I can put into my filming room when I've got more space but um if you don't know I am absolutely a jeans addict I absolutely love denim and that's why we're starting a jeans brand because that's how many jeans well that's half my jean collection and there is not the perfect jean in there and I know how to make them guys I'm just trying to make it happen I have absolutely perfected, let me show you, the mum jean. This is our mum jean. I'm not gonna show you too much just because it'll show you the tag with the name on. And I do actually wanna keep that a secret until I can like show you all the tags and the kind of jeans with it on and like tell you why we chose that name and stuff. But the mum jean is perfection. She's stretchy. As you see, she looks like denim. She feels like denim, but she's got stretch. And that has taken me such a long time to get right and that's why when we went out to the factory, when we went out to Turkey to visit those, like to be able to see everything, we could go through like every fabric possible and just look at what's possible and what was what I wanted. So yeah, that's not actually a final sample and um, that should be coming soon, but I've been wearing those nonstop because they are so unbelievably comfortable. Anyway, I'm not gonna talk about my passion for any longer. Um, I am halfway through this. So, wish me luck. So we just about finished it. People's just woken up. Hello. No. You're shaking your head. 
Ada. Hello, cheeky. That's a very cheeky smile. Do you want to take this off? Boop, boop. Uh, Hello. Who's that? Hiya. <laughs> She's got the cutest little eye at the moment. Every time she like sees someone, she goes, Aya. Yes, you do. <laughs> She always looks for Amber when she's not here. Who are you looking for? Who are you looking for? You're pointing at me. Where's mummy? Hi. Hi. Is that your baby? Uh. Oh yeah, you're going climbing with baby. This girl is like such a, <laughs> such a clap. You can't climb with a clip in your hand as well. <laughs> she always drops her dolly down that side and then looks for her and goes, ah. Oh. Oh no! Oh no! What's happened? And then she'll go on her rescue mission. You gonna rescue Dolly? Where's your baby gone? See if see if you can go around this way. Of course, we have to take the hardest the hardest route, guys. We can't just uh, go. <laughs> so independent that I tried to teach her signs. Do you want it or not? Are you trying to do it that way around you? But she just does her own signs. Mm. Yummy. <coughs> Is it nice? <coughs> I tried to teach her, to teach her the sign for milk. She does her own version. She just makes up her own signs. Nice? Right, okay. Is that nice? No. Were you shaking your head no then? Do I put no? No. Does it go on your head? No. <laughs> this one as well, do you? So yeah, she is absolutely such a character. Like, honestly, guys, she's absolutely brilliant. She makes everyone chuckle. You are so adventurous. Complete polar opposite. Where's your darling bum? She's dropped now. Polar, polar, polar opposite to Amber. Like, they couldn't be more different in every way, basically. But they also get on so well. Like, Amber absolutely adores Mabel. Like, she started asking now for Mabel to come with her when she goes on her days, like, to our parents. But we still think it's really nice for Amber to have that time with just, like, one-on-one. -on -one. Because we get one-on-one -on -one time with Mabel. And Amber, most of the time, we try to make time to have one-on-one -on -one time with her. But she, most of the time, we're all together as a family then. Um... So I think it's really special for Amber to have that one-on-one -on -one time with her grandparents when she can. Right guys, for lunch we are doing... You want to come and join me? Come on then. So for lunch we're doing HelloFresh. We are working with HelloFresh again. I know I work with them literally all the time over on my Instagram. It was the most life-changing thing we ever did was... Mabel was born, so over a year now we have HelloFresh every night. Biggest lifestyle change we've ever made. We used to get takeaway all the time such a turning point for us thank you which one do you want to do we hardly ever have takeaways now our diet is so like a, like such less amount of processed food and we feel so much better for it so biggest change we ever made we absolutely adore hello fresh we can't recommend it enough to everyone like family friends like we just love it every and, and also it's become like a bit of a joke that every time people come to our house like our house for a, a meal they know we're just going to cook hello fresh um so they're like we'll say like do you want to come over for food and they're like yeah which hello fresh meal are we having and i'm like yeah you know it already we just love it okay what you doing banging your head now i'm a daisy that one <gasps> Oh, for this me and mabel have chosen so um if you've not heard me ramble on about hellofresh before basically they have recipe cards they have a number 26 this one is and then you have your bag which has 26 on it all the ingredients inside ready to go so yeah all the stuff's inside ready to go oh and i find the recipe cards so so easy to follow as someone who really struggles with stuff like this with my dyslexia this with the pictures and everything Oh my gosh, I love it. Hello, Mila. Hello. Daddy. Mabel. <laughs> Are you hugging a green pepper? Uh, oh, yeah. That looks lovely. Is that your best friend? Did I see it earlier and not comment? You did, yeah. Oh, that's rude. I know. I was oh, it actually looks so good. Did you go to the same person? You got it cut last time we vlogged. each time, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Hi, yeah. Ow. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I was just going to show you eating your book. When you? You're bored of reading now. Done your reading. Time to move on. Hiya. Oh, bye then. Yeah. That's her saying, Mila. 
Ila, Ila. Yeah, hiya, Mila. They all sound the same. the same. Maybe she's not saying hiya, maybe she's just saying Mila all the time. Yeah. One of the main things I love is the time, like, like 20 to 25 minutes, and it's so quick because the mushrooms came pre-sliced, I just had to chop the peppers. These came pre-sliced, like pre-cut up as well. So I've literally, that's pretty much been prepped, just me cutting those, then I put it all together with that and some other bits and bobs and it makes the sauce. Like, it's so quick, it's so convenient. And just say, for example, one night when we don't have HelloFresh, I now actually feel confident to know the types of foods, which I know sounds so basic, but I'm sure some of you will relate, that can go into a pasta dish or go into all these meals that we've had, mm -hmm. like, whilst doing HelloFresh, so I just love it. she just eats cereal and toast. Yeah, well, I said that <laughs> earlier, okay? I had avocado, I used my avocados. Yeah, on, Yeah, on bacon. Goal, and I was like, this is not the norm. Like, usually it's Weetabix and Cheerios, and then yeah. that's it. Guys, this is the finished oh, oh, dish. Wow. Looks so good. We're all ready to eat it now. The removal sky. I know. I can actually cook with HelloFresh. I have my code as always, well, our code, 2024JC. Um, or you can use the QR code, which will be on the screen, or the link, which will be in the description box. And that gets you 60% off your first box plus tasty treats for life. So Ooh, use yeah, that yeah. code if you've been thinking about it. Thank you, HelloFresh, for working with us again. We love. <laughs> Look at you sitting down, ready for your shoes. She's time. She's got a new Clark shoes, guys. She wears them all out and about. Oh, she's she, so cute. I know. She actually kills us. And she's she actually walking them now. I know. She's off. Dun, 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 dun. I love the clumpy walk. It's the simple things. This is why I love kids. It's the simple things in life. So we set up Amber's chair with her blankies like, well, the chair with Amber's blankies like this because one time it was set up like this when she came back from one of our parents and she was like thank you thank you so much mummy for putting my blankie like that with my toys and it was so basic but it was just something within that i don't know it was just something that made her so happy and then she goes to bed now she takes one blankie to bed and says can you fold up one on the chair for me so i can see it in the morning she loves it when we set up her things as little picnic blankets or whatever so me and mabel are off for a little shop there you go thank you girl shopping day <gasps> We've already met a friend. That was fun. So yeah, we're gonna have a stroll around now, have a look at the shops and just have a little bit of slow time of the day. I'm trying to like slow down a bit because I've got an achy pelvis, which I've got so much to catch you guys up on. But basically I had like some doctor appointments and stuff lately because I was having this pain in my side. Then I like couldn't feel my coil, thought I'd lost my coil, went for a scan. They've had a cyst on my ovary and it's just all been like crazy, like a lot to take in lately, but um, the achiness is kind of of the cyst. I feel like it's coming back a bit today, so to go slow. <laughs> Quite a good little camera camera holder there. Yeah. So with this cyst now, um, they wanted to leave it and then rescan it in six months. Uh, six months, six weeks, and the pain died down massively because it was so painful at the start. But I think it's kind of coming and going and flaring and. I don't know, there's a lot to learn about it and then they diagnosed it as like endometriosis and it was just, ugh, it's just been a lot to take in to be honest. I'm still like researching and like finding people and like that, like talk about it and stuff like that. So it's been a bit of a whirlwind but I've got still pain here and there in my side so I'm like just going to a nice slow walk today. Take it slow. But yeah, I'm going to start in John Lewis. I want to see if they've got this jacket that I ordered from Mango. Um, I'm so excited for it to arrive, but they've got like a mango section in John Lewis, so I'm gonna see if I can find it. All the spring summer vibes making me so happy. <laughs> Mabel's like clinging on to, to them as we go past. Yeah, I'm just loving it. All the spring summer vibes I'm seeing, guys. I do not need another pair of jeans, but I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with that wash. It's giving me spring vibes. Okay, I can't see the jacket, but I'm loving everything else. Okay, this is the outfit we've got on today as well. This crossbody bag from Uniqlo, guys. I've got it in khaki and like a cord khaki color, and then I've got it in this like neutral, and I wear it with so many outfits, and it's actually just so practical. I love it. Morning, guys. It is now the next day. I feel like I'm wearing the same, but different. I'm wearing another blue shirt, unbuttoned it again with gray joggers. It's a variation on what I wore yesterday morning. Morning, so yesterday in, when we went to town, I was sure that I packed the camera battery, camera ran out of battery, and then rummaged through my bag. I was like, I didn't bring the battery, James. 
I just have to vlog tomorrow. Went in my bag this morning, found the battery straight away. So sometimes I don't understand how things like that happen, but it did. I just couldn't find it. The bag's like this big. You saw it yesterday. I think that was the last clip I just showed you. The bag is like that, so I don't know how I... The battery couldn't have been tucked away very far. So that's what happened yesterday. But we had a very successful shopping trip. These are the remains of the melon that the girls have been eating this morning. I thought I would cut myself some and have a little bit before I go out and work. I've just been editing today's video. So like this video. So I'm just sending that off to our video editor. I might just cut it all up now actually and just pop it in a container so the girls can have it after dinner later. So yeah, uh, today is another filming day. I'm just gonna be, James has gone to drop the girls off. He's gone with both of them this morning. So they're gonna kind of like chill all together um, there for a bit. And I've got some bits and bobs to film. So it's gonna be a, another filming day today. Yes, I was talking to you guys yesterday about my cyst. Um, there wasn't really a lot else to catch you up on really. I know I said that that was kind of the long story short, but that really was kind of it, was that I went in, I had this scan, my anxiety was through the roof, so I went to have this scan, um, and they found the coil perfectly in the right place, it's just because I had this cyst, um, anyway, then they luckily did a full scan of like my womb and, and everything, and they found this big cyst, and it was basically, like cysts are very common, I believe, uh, for what she was saying, you know, a cyst in itself, when they're small, it's like very, very common. But this was quite a large cyst that they wouldn't leave. So she referred it anyway because it needed to be like informed through the NHS uh, anyway because it was above a certain amount of centimeters that they wouldn't just leave it. Um, so yeah, so then I had a lot of anxiety about this new thing that I hadn't even really known <laughs> known anything about, endometriosis and all of this. And um, it's kind of strange because once they start explaining or once you get told you might have something like endometriosis and you look into it it's so eye-opening because i think a lot of the time you start living with pains or like symptoms and you just sort of get used to them so it's like oh pain when you wee pain when you poo like i don't have severe pain when doing either of those but there are i have always had side pains i have always had these funny like tummy things and like I'm just like oh I've just got funny bowels or oh I've just got funny this and funny that and do you guys remember that um when I was 13 weeks pregnant with Mabel I passed out in that hotel room because I had severe pain in my side passed out spent like ended up spending like a week in hospital in Manchester because we'd gone there for a meeting and it was just all this thing and seven years before that which was a long time I'd also had this side pain where they thought it was appendicitis, they'd operated, they found fluid, but nothing else. So it's like, was that a popped cyst because they found fluid? Anyway, it's all like, oh, has all this stuff just been endometriosis the whole time? And then when you look into it, it's like, it takes on average seven years for people to be diagnosed with it. But there's a lot of endometriosis symptoms that I don't have, like heavy painful periods, but then I've always been on contraception, so that affects your periods. It is a whole shabam. Sorry, I just did that whole spiel without actually saying what the end like result was or what, what, what was gonna kind of be the steps going forward. It is that I am waiting now for a second scan in six weeks um, or so, depending on obviously if the pain gets considerably worse or, I mean, this is the thing I think that's given me so much anxiety. It's like, I also know that this cyst could apparently pop at any time, which is a sent maybe what happened that previous time in Manchester where I passed out because I was in so much pain and a, a bursting cyst is, one of the most painful things apparently i mean i've given birth without pain relief guys and i didn't pass out then but i passed out when my cyst burst so apparently i don't know if that was a burst a bit of cyst but so now i'm like okay i'm living till this next scan a bit nervous and anxious that it might pop at any time but Oh, it just gives me anxiety though, but so yeah, we're waiting this so essentially if it, everything stays quite calm and you know whatever we'll wait six weeks and see whether it's grown in size or shrunk, because I believe an endometriosis cyst doesn't shrink, but if it's a hemorrhagic cyst or something, the other type of cyst it could be, it might just like shrink. I don't know guys, it's complicated. I was in the appointment like, yeah, 
Yeah, okay. I was with my mum, thank goodness, because <gasps> my mum was literally just telling me what it all meant and explaining it all to me. So, and then James came with me to the second appointment, which was really nice as well, because he literally, you guys know, he was like asking them everything. He was like, so what, what about this? What about that? Oh, and he was asking loads about the surgery, because if it grows or if it's this and that, then I'll need to have it. So, um, taken out with surgery which is just like the end result that if you have they can then see so much more when they do surgery they can see where endometriosis might be they can see everything once they you know it's, it's kind of a guessing game until they open you up and look inside like a lot of the time they just don't know they just they just can't tell you you could know that oh yeah you've had endometriosis all along here for like a long time and that's what's oh, my neck causing you that pain i feel very anxious but at the same time I can't help but feel so grateful because I know and follow on social media a lot of people that have really severe endometriosis and it is absolutely just absolutely debilitating in so many ways and it's just so horrible so sorry I'm freaking out guys James just texted me just out of the blue why is he doing this to me with no other context I think we have a completed chain dot 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 so this is what's been going on as you guys know the chain is just not being complete so it's been going on and on and on welcome to the ee voicemail he's talking to the conveyor sir okay guys i'm freaking out i genuinely like have not been getting excited about this house at all because it's like, I'll cry if I think about it, it is absolutely like, I just felt like home there, like, and we'd seen so many houses. Couldn't believe when we looked back that we'd been looking since last summer. What is going on? You can't just leave me hanging like that. Right, yeah. Okay, but that's just like, it's, it's not 100% confirmed, it's just like, <gasps> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I still shouldn't be getting too excited because there needs to be 100% confirmation of this news. But yeah, they think the chain is complete, they just need to 100% triple check. So they're going to ring around now, the estate agents, and then call back and hopefully we can get 100% confirmation of that because that'll be so exciting maybe we'll be moving end of april who knows okay now i've really got to stop stalling this has been an exciting morning so far oh my lip is quite dark actually i've just now i've come on here i'm like oh is the lip too dark it's sort of a bit lighter in the middle, but it's a little bit darker than I would usually go. So I have just gotten ready. I'm going to start filming in a second. I've already filmed one video, um, but that was kind of like a no makeup one. But so I've just got ready with basically, um, I don't know how many of you already know, but there's an app called Yucca. I just saw someone post about this yesterday and I was like, what? It's basically an app. The logo is literally a little carrot and it tells you, I haven't even actually really figured out what it tells you yet, but you scan products and it tells you like how toxic they are, like how like, how many chemicals or whatever are in there. It does it with food as well, but it's so bizarre. I really wanna know if any of you have actually used this, like what's the vibe? Is it gonna cure my eczema? Like, cause some, like, I don't know. I just don't know. I'm trying to give you an example. This is not making any sense right now. Let's say, for example, I scanned uh, like Olaplex and it came up as poor and then you click on it and it tells you like the risks of the ingredients in it. But like I say, I haven't actually looked into risks to what. I don't know. But it just looks scary, doesn't it, when you see it like that. And then you like do the Child's Farm baby wash and it's like rated excellent and the Peppa Pig bath foam, which I was gonna be thought was gonna be toxic, was rated excellent. I feel like all the kids stuff I rated, all the kids stuff I scanned was uh, excellent. Um, and then the soap that's in our downstairs toilet, eight out of a hundred. Okay, that's fantastic. So yeah, I've been really interested in this. So I've been like, look, I, I ended up paying because you can scan it, you can scan barcodes for free, but makeup and stuff, like they don't come with barcodes on them. So 
is on the box. So if you don't have the box to every piece of your makeup, which you probably don't, you can't scan them. So then you sign up for the yearly thing. My like new favorite moisturizer thing for eczema is 90 out of 100. That is one of the best ones that I've scanned so far. Ooh, ooh, okay. Formulation of the pro process. The formulation is in the process of being changed. Oh, wow, why is this app so cool? Like it knows everything. This is not an ad or anything, by the way, guys. I'm just pumped by the app. So then I started like randomly scanning food and stuff. Loads of the food was just good. I don't know. As in like, I was just scanning yogurt and just, anyway. Um, it's one of those things. You've got to take it with a pinch of salt and I actually need to do like more research into what is it actually telling me. But I just did a full face with makeup that was, my memory card is going to run out any second. One minute, I'll be back. I'm back. Okay, so I just did a full face basically. This is why I was explaining about the app of makeup that was rated like green so like good or excellent so it was things like the charlotte tilbury because it's it's not like consistent either within a brand like charlotte tilbury one thing could be like 100 out of 100 next thing could be like one out of 100 wood filter one was rated really well iconic illuminator um so we got the glow going with that then we did what did we do um i did my blush couldn't find a blush that was well rated so we just went with any the wonder skin stuff guys my tints are rated really well. They're rated in green. Can't remember if it's good or excellent. But the lip tint and the brow tint. And then I haven't actually checked the other lip liner and gloss that I just put on. Oops. But and the brow glue was not rated good, but it's okay because, like I said, I'm just having fun with it at the moment. I have no idea what it actually means and if it is actually going to be relevant. But if you've used it or you know stuff about it, let me know. I literally found it like started scanning things last night. So I'm gonna do my research and I will get back to you on what the whole vibe actually is. So I've just finished filming. I only filmed a few videos today actually because I've got um, quite a bit more editing than I usually would have on a filming day. I don't know what's happened to me lately. I'm going slow. Usually I'm like filming being much more productive, but I'm not sure if it's assist. I don't know, maybe I'm just moving slower, feeling a bit, but I'm going with it. Try not to rush rush myself through life when it's not necessary. So yeah, I'm going to do some editing now for the rest of the day and also organize. James is pretty much organizing. He's just gotten back and he is kind of like having a big organize at the house as well. Um, this is how my room looks after filming that. Oh, I was gonna show you guys what I bought. I will actually just show it to you in terms of this is how my camera roll looks after filming. Actually, it doesn't look that bad because photos, like there's only like the little video bits here, which are just videos. So this was me getting dressed and the outfit I just did. I absolutely love my new mic. Um, I use it all the time over on Instagram. But this, um, today's uh, outfit, it made me chuckle as I was like putting it together. I was like, we need to document this because this outfit contains a small, medium, large, extra, extra large and size 14. So I kind of did like an outfit based on sizing literally does not matter because every single thing is different sizes and who cares, just wear whatever fits you vibe. And then this was some of the bits I bought from H&M. This denim shirt and the sweatshirt I bought from H&M and also the top that I had on. This like cropped baggy t-shirt from Zara, which I love. And this t-shirt as well. I just love a t-shirt with like a slogan thing like that on it. So this is my going out comfies outfit. This is the H&M shirt that I was on about earlier. Denim shirts just aren't like soft and flexible and it. it's just, I can't explain it guys, but it makes sense as to why they've referenced it as this feathery, soft, comfy thing because it is so comfy. Comfy joggers, fave Nike dunks and the H&M sweatshirt that I picked up as well. The peak of our job for James has come oh, in. Oh, it's here. <laughs> in full swing. Literally. He was buzzing. In case you haven't noticed, new car, not ours, being lent to us by BMW. When James got the email. For a whole month. For a month. He was ecstatic. For anyone that doesn't know James, he is like a car. Look, look how far back this was. I just thought I'd balance it on there. It literally goes so far back. James is a car lover. There's nowhere to balance you guys, but... And he was very excited to choose this one, which is the... I don't know what car it is, oh, James. It's, it's a BMW iX. <gasps> they haven't actually asked us to talk about this or anything, no. but we thought we would show you guys we it because well, it is so we cool. Are very excited. It's an electric car, and I've been it's having silent. a lot of relaxing times driving it. Yeah, it is really cool, to be fair. Like, it's given me, like... 
futuristic. Yeah, futuristic, minimalistic, yeah. like very bougie, loving yeah. it. We got our sachets of milk, of course. Oh, so yeah, I got a coffee <laughs> on the way back from dropping Amber to my parents, and um, I've made a mess for the first time in the in the car. Yeah, he's been so good. Like literally, he won't let us put anything anywhere. He even like takes a towel where the girl's shoes goes, like everything. Like he's kept this car immaculate. It's not uh, I, I know it's not. It's I know. But I wish it. we would look after us like that. <laughs> This is such a mess. And I feel like so we, have, we have a BMW. Yeah, yeah, we have a BMW. We love BMWs. Like, I love driving ours. Ours is the X5. Um, and I absolutely love driving it because I'm not, like, as good a driver as James, necessarily. No, not good. Uh, You're just, um... No, not good. You're not good. What do you mean, not as good? I You're didn't know which good. way you were going with <laughs> that, then. <laughs> You're just not quite as confident, that's all. Yeah. Um, I actually love driving our BMW X5. Like, I honestly love it. So yeah, this is what it's like, guys. Very cool. Seats are very this. bougie. Oh, look. oh yeah, no, the roof ready, light. Ready, ready. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. And then click it again. Goodbye. <laughs> hey. I'm loving it. <laughs> There's too many cool things about this car, like heated steering wheels and all sorts. I feel like the car reviewer now. Honestly, every the time have massages in them. If you, if you haven't tried it with you, I, I was having a go earlier. I was like. Oh. Every day I come in here, I find something new. It's like so just like bougie. I love it. Um, every time I open James's laptop, he's looking at a different car review. So um, I just think you need to start your own YouTube channel now, Han, and start reviewing, reviewing the cars. cars. Yeah, my review is going to be very good. i be like, look at the sunlight. <laughs> look how cool it is. Look at the massage seats. But this wait. This is the main thing that matters. Drive. I need to drive. And listen to how quiet, well, you can't hear it. It's silent. Wow, that's just so relaxing. <laughs> um, okay, so we are off to do run, yeah. do and run some errands, and then whilst we're out running errands, I wanted to pop. Ooh, it also speeds up really fast. I wanted to pop two boots because now I'm obsessed with my yucca up, guys. Oh no, you're going to scan the entire boots. <laughs> I just need to find um, a cleanser that is rated green, so I want to find a green. I mean, even though I use my cleanser every day and I'm pretty sure like, that's my Elemis cleanser, you guys know, like I love it to pieces and it's not really, I haven't hey, had a flare up on my face. Well, it. it is an amazing product, this is what I mean. Like, you have to take the app with a pinch of salt. Like, you know, just cause it's got certain things in it doesn't mean you're gonna to react to it or doesn't mean you oh, wanna sure. take action on that, if you get me. But I'm just excited. I feel like if I use mostly green things for a little while, I'll see whether it, you know, affects my eczema or not. Does this mind mean buying an entire new range of products? Well, no, I have a whole makeup bag that's green. Oh! Yeah, with yes. my old like Charlotte Tilbury products and stuff oh. like that. So we can mix and match, we can make it work. We're gonna be a green gal and see if it helps the eczema. Starbucks food. So essential to any chocolate chip is a coffee. <laughs> Even if you're literally yeah. going to Boots to get a new eyeliner or whatever We is. have to stop for a coffee. What is that? I just love these it's a ginger bread. I love the novelty. Mm. <laughs> you want to go? Mm. I'm just a chocolate You're guy. Just I, I don't see the point in having like sweet no, stuff. No, James that literally would never. Chocolate. Doesn't make sense to me. No, he doesn't get anything. Oh, yeah, that's not chocolate. Me and Amber, though, on the other hand, we love a gingerbread. Yeah, Amber loves gingerbread. We make gingerbread. She's even got a pepper pig gingerbread cutter that she's desperate to use. Our neighbor came with little pepper pig gingerbread cutters and we're like, these are my old ones. We don't use them anymore. Does Amber want them? Amber's journey dropped to the floor. She was like, pepper pig gingerbread men. This and a cappuccino. Mwah. Okay, so James has just taken another call from the estate agent. Exciting stuff. Um, I am looking for this brand. I don't know if they sell it in boots, but I'm basically gonna be scanning everything in boots. But everything that they do is like so green, so high. So no chemicals in this bioma. Looks unreal, so I'm excited. I don't know if they've got it here, but I also like, in terms of like cleansers and things like that, it was very like basic things were really good like i think it was that is it this that i saw it was like really well rated like 90 out of 100 or something sorry guys this is so boring and also like i don't want to give anyone toxic vibes by being like scan everything and don't use any chemicals like that's not the vibe i'm going for here i'm just excited by this oh my god guys i found it they've got a whole little stall james is checked guys with all the purchases i'm just so excited like i've got strawberries <laughs> i've got all this i've got all all the good stuff guys all rated <laughs> 
pretty much good. Pretty much good. good. No, pretty much good to excellent, yeah, I was going to so say. Good. I'll do a little haul for you guys when I get home, okay? Hello, Cheeky. Are you grabbing a shoe? Of course you are, guys. The shoe basket is placed in the worst position. Hello, gorgeous. Because it's right there. She grabs a shoe every single time. Hello. The worst is when you have, like, a guest that hasn't been to your house before and Mila obviously immediately picks up the guest's shoe and you're just like, oh, no, put that down, Mila. Right, guys, the jacket has arrived. Woohoo! Let's have a look at it. So we've done food shop, product shop, jacket has arrived. Let's do a little haul. See, I've taken the priorities. I've left the food, which actually needs to be put in the fridge. So I'm going to go back and get that. But that just sums me up, really. James decided to run home. Honestly, he's nuts. There we go. Amber and Mabel are on their way home. Mabel did like half the day at James's parents because she is just like absolutely loves okay that's not gonna balance anywhere one second guys mabel just absolutely like they just love being together amber and mabel so they were having a very good time today at james's parents so i think they've been doing some activities together this afternoon but they're on their way back now and then we're gonna have a early evening fun together so let's just have a quick peek at the jacket guys and then i've got to put my food shop away <gasps> i'm so excited to be honest i don't think this style is actually gonna suit me so I don't know why. I'm putting those negative vibes into the air. <sighs> Just love like a quilted bomber, that whole vibe. Like this is the type of outfit that I wear all the time, isn't it? Like the kind of basics. Ooh. Oh, no, hang on. Hang on. That could be quite cute actually. Love it. Thought then it was going to be a little bit too puffy puffy. I think especially going into spring like it is going to kind of be a throw over that's going to be thrown over more like t-shirt style vibes if you get me so i wanted it to be cropped oh my gosh i love it no i really really like that you waiting for amber and mabel are you they're not coming home yet darling come on oh you're waiting for daddy you wondered where daddy's gone yeah i wondered where daddy's gone as well he's gone for a run home so he ran like back from the like, sh well, not back from the shopping place that we went to, but um, kind of like halfway home, he then ran the rest. Even though he's already done a gym session today, he's having a fitness day. Then I thought that I would come home and go to the gym, but then I was saved by the bell because James's mum texted me like, we're on our way back. And I was like, woohoo, I'll just wait for you guys then in the kitchen. Fine, I won't go to the gym. No, I've actually been loving my workouts lately, but um, I think with the whole like, side pain vibes. I think it's probably best to be honest if I just give it a little bit more time off. Ooh, dark chocolate. James did the food shop. Let's see what he's got. He got blueberries, strawberries, oranges, basically just fruit. Anyone with kids knows the fruit just runs out like so quickly. Put them in the fridge. And we got the classics really. Greek yogurt, eggs, bacon, Baked beans, so we have a full breakfast, full English breakfast. And we can get on to the exciting stuff. Let's have a look see in the booth baggy. Nala Baby is so good. Child's Farm is also amazing. We've already got Child's Farm, so I thought I'd try. We've got, well, we had the shampoo of this, but we've run out. So I thought I'd try this one because it's a body wash and a shampoo. So that one, and then what was the other one I got? Oh yeah, then I got the Child's Farm conditioner. These are both like 80, 90 out of 100, which is great. Then I got some micellar water. That one's a bit more of a bougie one, but this one was like, I can't remember now, like five pounds maybe? It was 4.99, little cleanser, loves it. Then we got a milky moisture cleanser by this brand. Can't wait to try that. Oh, that reminds me, just as I was doing my ASMR with the absolutely, my nails giving me the it. They are so chipped. I bought this brand the other day. You can probably see, guys, I'm on a bit of a... I go through like cycles, don't I? Where I get on a bit of a hype of like trying to clear my eczema, especially it's when I'm having a flare up and like I can feel the flare getting worse and worse and I'm like, I don't want to use my steroids and then I go back to being like, right, I need to find out what's flaring my eczema. I'm trying not to get too like obsessed with it. This is more of like a, I actually found this really interesting and fun. And on that note, I don't want anybody to think that you need to go out, scan all your products and buy new products because let me tell you guys, what's going to happen is I'm going to try all these. I'm going to use all green things and nothing's going to change to my eczema and it's probably going to flare even worse by trying new products so i'm the type of person that just likes to try it i will review back but 
don't get carried away like I do. Um, so these are nail varnishes by Nailberry. I'm actually gonna have a look at that now on that app and just see what the vibes are because these were meant to be very like pure nail varnishes is what, what I've been trying for my nails rather than gel nails because that's kind of linked to eye flare-ups. And as you guys know, I had really severe eye flare-ups for quite a while around the time I was doing my gel nails. You yeah, know, guys, you've got to take everything with a pinch of salt, haven't you? Then I got some like random face mist because why not? That was rated high. Then a brightening serum, which all these, the, the, that kind of vibe is already in my skin and me, like um, niacinamide and whatever. That's in my skin and me, like daily dose, which I absolutely adore. And the only blusher, guys, that I could find that was really highly rated was this number seven blusher. The rest of my makeup, I have been able to find like good ones within my already existing products, but a blush I couldn't find. So here we go. Like I said, I'm not gonna stop using my like old products but I am for the time being just to give this like a good go just so I can like kind of give my feedback to you guys um, and over on Instagram on like how, because people were quite interested when I posted about it on my Instagram stories about um, how, much of a different it could, how much of a difference it could make. And quite a lot of people with eczema and psoriasis also messaged me saying it made a massive difference for them. It is person by person, skin by skin. That's what I find with all of these things. Some people, things that have helped people's eczema like literally flare mine to the high heavens. So you never ever know, let's give it a go. Here's my product haul. And what am I gonna do now? I am gonna prep and plan our food for the night. I think we're gonna have this tonight, which looks absolutely gorge, gorge, gorge. And then the girls are gonna be home very soon. The girls are home now and playing in the playroom. And then they climb up. Look at them through there. <laughs> Where's Mabel gone? Mabel? Hello. What are you doing? Are you causing chaos again? <laughs> Hello, what you got? Thank you. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, do you want to have a go? Oh, hold it by there. Hold it by there. By there instead. That's it. <laughs> Can you see? Can you see me? Run around. Dip, dip. Where are you? What's your favourite toy, Ams? It's a slide entrance into. Yeah, it's slide. That's your favourite, isn't it? It's perfect. It's perfect. In case, in case babies climb up there. Babies climb up there, yeah. And you do. One. Two. Two. Three. Whee! <laughs> do you want to take a photo of me, though? Yeah, of course. That's it, and then we turn it on. Well done. <laughs> oh, guys, endless fun. <laughs> round and round and round. Was that good? <laughs> so, yes, we're all home now having a play. <laughs> Thank you, Amber. So, I have just had, I know this camera does this really annoying thing where it maybe actually there, that's not got the beauty filter thing on now, you can see. The automatic thing is gonna come back on, whatever this camera has. My face is burning up. I literally said to you guys this would happen earlier. So I got excited, took all my products upstairs, girls went to bed, took, I don't really have, I didn't have any makeup off, but, um, so I went in the shower. Then I used, why do I always do this? I always use like multiple new products at a time. So I think I used like the thermal water spray, did I cleanse? I can't even remember, guys. I was just getting so excited about the product. Then I put like the skin barrier thing on my face after. Oh, no, no. This is actually calm. It blew up bright red. So I've been icing my face and it is coming down quite a bit. It just, I reckon, actually, what might have happened is when your skin is wet, it absorbs so much more. So I think I'm not, I had never tried like thermal water or anything before moisturising. A lot of people like spray water or dampen their face, then moisturise it like, it like... <sniffs> osmosis or something like that. That's science GCSE coming through. It's got nothing to do with osmosis probably, but is that like, it sucks it all in or something. So I think my skin just got a bit of a shock then because I don't feel like it's actually necessarily an allergic reaction. I don't know. 
because it goes down quite easily when this happens. I feel my sensitive skin just gets overwhelmed by new products and especially I think with the water, then maybe like after the shower or my pores were open, it got hot to cold to the, we just shocked the skin. So it's coming down slowly. I'm gonna make a cup of tea, the kitchen mm, is so messy. So James has gone out to meet a friend tonight who they're having like, uh, business convos. He's giving him some advice on something. Anyway, they he's gone to his house tonight to dinner. Like literally, look, just food everywhere. There's going to be about seven thousand pieces of food squished on the floor over there, by where we all had dinner. We had a lovely dinner together. The Hello Fresh meal was unreal. It was the chicken one with pasta. I make a cup of tea. Um, I've just been sat like an absolute mushroom on the seat. Like whenever I put the girls down, I always like sit straight down and I end up spending like a good 10 minutes just getting back to all my WhatsApps because I find WhatsApps like so overwhelming during the day. And maybe it's because I'm on my phone with work like anyway. And then I find just like getting back to WhatsApps. I'm like useless at. Um, so once the girls go down, I always end up like just literally sitting there replying to everyone. Um, and I was just planning the, like we're doing a, like a meetup thing with our friends and they were planning what we, we kind of try and do like a different thing every time we meet up. Not different every time, but like we try and kind of try and do different things. Um, last time we did darts and it reminded me because we just planned that what we're doing for the next one. I was just reading through the messages about that. It reminded me that we went to darts the other day when we went on our little like night out with all our friends. And you know when you've like been in a relationship with someone for so long, you just think that you know everything about them, like nothing's gonna catch you off guard kind of thing. And we had booked darts. It's like this thing in town where like you go and you play darts and you have drinks and it's just like a fun night and um, you have like a dart you get like the darts kind of area for an hour and you don't just do like darts darts like proper darts you do like darts games he, james knew we were going to darts he was like oh yeah cool like darts um didn't think to tell me that he's an amazing darts player and like i say 10 years we've been together next year i was literally like sorry when were you gonna tell me you were like pro dart player um, I've got to pop up this video. So I took one video of James in the night. Cause I was like, I need to get, I need to like record this and show his dad. Cause he's literally bossing these darts and I will play a few now. Um, so I was actually stood there like, I can't even get the dart on the board couldn't even get the dart on the board um so it was such a good night um i really actually recommend that it was in cardiff it's called flight night flight club flight club i think <laughs> um it was so fun but the funniest thing was when i put it on my story people found it hilarious the like biggest reply i got was people just being like this is so odd seeing you and james like out with friends being in that type of situation. And I thought after, I thought, yeah, I guess we never, ever, ever show like that side of our life. Um, we never show our friends, we never, ever have really, because none of them are online and none of them would want to be online. It's like their worst nightmare. They just do not understand why we do what we do. They could, they like literally like why, like how with like trolls and things like that. But to me, that's such a tiny, 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 tiny percentage of being online like this so oh, many positives there's so there's such amazing communities of people out like you guys they're just there's the, the nice comments and the love and the i don't know there's the community just outweigh anything like that and i guess we've been online so long that kind of like doesn't bother us anymore but yeah so that really cracked me up i thought actually yeah you guys probably haven't seen us like in those type of situations and don't get me wrong we're not like that all the time that's like a once in a blue moon for us now like when we go out with our friends that is that's the you know we have to plan it we have to get childcare. we have to the whole shabam anyone with big kids will know that and it's been an adjustment even getting to that night where we could go out like you know mabel's turned one now and amber's three so we've done our first year of having two and going from one to two was such, such a big change. And it was one that we really, really, really struggled with, um, but I wouldn't have it any other way. And they they feel like they're getting so old so quickly and 
that's why as well I know that there's been a lot of changes in the vlogs like it probably seems well it is that we like really it's just me <laughs> my face guys chatting to you <laughs> even more so than before because I know I mentioned it before but the times that we have with the girls we just want them to be so intensely based around just being with the girls and not working and not vlogging and not doing that and they're so aware of everything going on now they're a bit older that um you know they have their time away from us when we're able to work and do all our bits and bobs and then when we're together we just want to literally have our intense time together and we love the setup and the way it works um, at the moment for us but i know it is a big change and like just with our online content on a whole so um yeah we appreciate there's been a lot of change lately but um it just really works for us at the moment and I think that's what you've got to prioritise isn't it um, at all times is just what works best for your girls what best works best for your kids so yeah I rambled off on one then but what was I saying yeah that it has been an adjustment and it is it's, it's there have been plenty of times where our friends have, have gone out and, and we haven't been able to make it or we we thought we were going to make it and then like the girls, you know, they just were having a rough time going down to bed and we haven't been able to make it or we've come back early, we've come back after an hour, we've not been able to go at all because one of them's teething or breastfeeding or, you know, there's so many reasons. Anyway, I'm going into deep chats, guys. <laughs> this is what happens. I could just talk to you all night when James is out. <laughs> I could just sit here, clean the kitchen with you guys and ramble, but I honestly think this vlog would be like two hours if I did that. I'm pretty sure it's already like an hour long. So tidy the kitchen, watch Love is Blind and get an early night, I think. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you so much. Bye guys. Mwah.